Welcome Dragon Champions to another Dragon Log Gaming Presents Dragon Champions. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, yesterday I made a video that talked about the top five characters for each area. We're talking uh, healer, leader, uh, tank, and DPS. Uh, just to recap those at the at the present time, I believe that the top tank in the game is Tromgard, top uh, DPS in the game is Wonderlula, followed by Nightingale. As some people pointed out in my comments, they believe Wonderlula is bugged. I think that's probably true. I tried to see if there was a, you know, somewhere that has been written that this is definitely bugged. She's not working as intended. I was not able to find that. Nothing from the developers yet. But we may have some stuff coming uh, here soon, so we'll see about that. Uh, best healer in the game is Solius, and the best lead in the game currently is Patriarch Chi. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to go over what what are the next what's the next tier down from that. So let's go ahead and talk first about defenders. All right, defenders. So as of right now, you can see that these are the defenders that I have. I have. Um, all of the defenders in the game currently unlocked. However, I do not have Little Batty even um, even unlocked yet, so I couldn't tell you uh, from my point of view whether she's good or she's bad. Um, however, I think if you're doing a full team, a full human team, that she could be quite good. Uh, if you're doing a full human team, let's take a look at her for just a second. So. We're looking at her basic ability does physical damage, of course, 80% decrease uh, the target's turn meter, so she, it's got turn meter removal. So we're talking about something that can really help in the meat wheel, um, in the raid for meat wheel. Turn meter removal really, really helps in the meat wheel phase, uh, so that would be really, really beneficial. Uh, we're also talking about uh, deals 260% physical damage to an enemy, also attacks uh, two random enemies, dealing 30% of physical damage. Uh, dealing damage with this ability removes one buff. Little baddie taunts for two turns, so that's her taunt. Uh, it's very, very good. Uh, it's a first turn taunt. Uh, if, if you're not sure how, you know, by now, if you go down to the air, if it says 4 or 4 cooldown, that's how you know whether it can be a first turn taunt. She deals 85% of damage and 20% to inflict blindness. 30% um, chance to inflict blindness for two turns at 190% physical damage to all enemies. It sounds really, really good. And then... Little Batty survives a fatal blow, protecting yourself with shields equal to 30% of her max health. Any effects active on her are removed, can be triggered uh, once per battle. Uh, so I assume that's only one time that this can be done. Very, 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 very good. Like I said, I don't have her up. I like the way she looks. I think I love the way her art is and her shield. However, uh, I would put her up as the fourth tank in this role um, after Darian. So I would say Ken Lee is next on the list as the best tank um, beside Trom Tromgard. I know there'll probably be a debate about whether Ken Lee's better than Tromgard or Tromgard's better than Ken Lee at some point. I don't think there's any debate right now that Tromgard's better, um, but Ken Lee... Uh, is just an amazing, uh, amazing, amazing tank because uh, he does he gets 50% more critical damage on his basic. If the target's at full health, this tech gener uh, is guaranteed to land a critical hit, which is really, really good. Uh, where he really, really shines, of course, is his taunt. Uh, he gains taunt and dodge increase for two turns and then removes two debuffs and recovers 25% of his health every single time he taunts, which is really, really good. Um, and uh, he has a, it, he also gets to taunt on the first turn. Uh, he also has spiritual recovery, uh, which recovers 20% of his health at the start of his turn. So he, he he he's just he heals himself um and that really really helps uh he has a leadership for pandas i bet you know eh, it's not great but not bad um and then he's got this uh his special ability here deals 300 percent of physical damage and 50 percent uh chance to to apply tenacity increase for three turns uh there's realities for one turn not bad at all um it is a 50 percent chance so I mean, it's not great, but he is, his dodge ability is just, he dodges and he dodges and he dodges and he dodges and he dodges. It's kind of crazy. If you look at my character, he's only got a 2% dodge. Um, 
when dodge goes up it seems to be huge uh, i don't know exactly how much the percentage is for his dodge chance which dodge increase right but it's increased enough where he will dodge a lot uh and so as you can see i've definitely leveled him he is a great tank i'm currently trying to farm him up to seven stars but i have not adjusted his abilities quite yet now, and he's great for the tower, too, when you're doing order. Uh, you can do order all the way up the tower with him and Patriarch Chi. Uh, the next the next tank that would be, uh, well, let, he's best. And then Salvador. Uh, we can talk about Salvador a little bit. But I, I've been teaming up Salvador with uh, Kara. Uh, and because of his basic, right, gaining 40% of heals, 40% uh, chance uh, to gain 10% of his max health and shields. It's really, really nice. It makes him really super tanky. Um, arguably, he might be one of the best tanks in the game when when fully leveled up, especially teamed with Hera, um, because he will be able to taunt first turn, uh, beat already pre-taunting, and he'll have, you know, physical armor, uh, and uh, his physical armor will go up, and then he'll be able to use Steel Shell first turn as well, which reduces all damage taken by 90%. And he just, that's, it's so good. It's so good. If you've ever had to deal with him, that he's, when he's fully geared out, he is phenomenal. The issue, of course, is that you have to team him with Hera, uh, and uh, we'll talk about her leadership here momentarily so let's go back let's go back and look at you have dps characters it's a little hard to we'll just go fighter we'll go fighter mage oh, it looks like we can only select one at a time so let's just look at the fighters all right obviously night el wonder Lula, great kira freezard mar uh, these guys are all great damage dealers, but I think that, you know, Kara takes takes the cake here, and then Freezard, if you're talking about uh, next tier, like, just underneath uh, them, I think that Kara, if Wonder Lula gets fixed and she's not doing out the damage, I think that Kara ends up jumping Wonder Lula um, and uh, being one of the better one of the better tank or one of the better DPSs in the game uh, because of course she has lots of utility and uh, you know her the ability to uh, you know add ability block for two turns on her basic uh, and then of course her ability to gain stealth and gain, give everybody turn meter which is really 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 good um, and then of course her AoE which has days on it uh, which can daze everyone and so she's she's absolutely phenomenal um, when she's invisible right she has some extra stuff with venomate uh, which I think is really really good uh, but I'm like I said I have not been using them that way because I went the other way uh, but I think that you can see that most people like her. Freezard, of course, is an amazing character. Um, as you can see, I'm still working on trying to max him out. But even even then, he's got great magic damage. His basic slows. Um, his basic slows people down. Uh, 75% chance to add the slow. He's got a three. He's got two AOEs. Um, both are second. One's the second turn, and then the other one here is a. Yeah, you know, to turn a turn two, uh, a, a turn three, essentially, uh, ability, but it hits everyone and has 25% turn meter, uh, right? So it's really, really, really well done. Of course, he has some, if you group him up with Snorri, they share they share stuff uh freezard shares a flatal blow uh, and any effects can arrive on or be removed on him uh freezard recovers 25 percent of his health and can only be triggered once per battle the it says that can only be treated once per battle it says that however i've seen the mechanic where you heal them up to full health and then you get them back down and then all of a sudden it triggers again um this may be a little bit of a bug because i've hit people i've killed people straight through it right now but uh i digress from there so we're looking at dps's i dps characters i think that these kara and freezard are phenomenal i know a lot of people like mar uh we can talk about him in another video but i think he's a you know a tier three sort of character and the reason 
I think that, at least at this present time, is that he just takes a long time to get off. He's got to do a basic, and then, you know, then he's got to do, you know, his rage, and then he gets his AoE. Now, I understand that if you get, if you get, resets the cooldown if you get it to 6, I have not got it there yet. Um, I am slowly working on that. It looks like I can bump him to gear um, 8, which I will probably do. Might as well go ahead and just do that now. Right. And so, big jump, big jump. And then, of course, he, when you're talking about missing health, he does 1% more damage for each 2% missing health. Uh, you know, that's good. I, I just don't know. It just, he takes so long to get off when you have people like Kara and Nightiel and Wonderlula and Freezard who just go so much faster and or uh, do so much more damage. Uh, Revel is an amazing is also another amazing damage dealer however it's kind of the same it's kind of the same issue he has to have bleed and so i he he relies on someone else i think that's the best way to put it is that mar is just slow revel uh, he or lover he relies on someone else corkum's kind of the same way he kind of just relies on someone else and i think rantha's not really she don't really call her a dps character i think she's more of a utility character um i, I wouldn't call her a dps necessarily a necessary character uh i think uh, cruel is probably pretty good um Puncher face, master shot. These guys are all quite good characters, but as you can see, I have not messed with them. I have not got to a good, uh, un you know, a good understanding of how they work. Um, so I'm gonna refrain from judgment. If you think better, if you think, you know, where you think they should land, um, I'm kind of leaving them out. I'm not really talking about them simply because I think it would be, uh, I think it would be inappropriate uh to talk about them at the present moment uh because i have i don't have much experience with them all right let's talk about the healers obviously we talked about soleus um being the best healer however let's talk about patriarch chi i think patriarch chi for what he is as a healer is not particularly good on his own um you almost have to run him as the lead and another healer however xantara here or miss lunch uh she on the other hand is a great healer alara is actually not bad either um the problem with xantara uh is that she eats her own health right she eats her own health to heal and so when she's the only healer on the battlefield it makes it very difficult uh to keep her alive sometimes because you can simply just target her um mortha i think is a tier three healer i just don't think he's she's very good um if you had a better healer or healer you would pro she would probably be uh replaced right away uh, her her regular heal, this line, the chain healing is just not great. Um, 400% to one, and then it chains down 300 and 200. Where, you know, another healer, like uh, when you're looking at Soleus, he does 550. All right, 550 of his magic damage to everyone. If you look at Alara, and when she's fine, when she's all the way up, right, it's 350. So it's, it's, quite, it's quite lower. Um, when you're looking at Xantara, right, she gets 500 of her magic damage, right? But she's got to sacrifice 25% of her own health to do that. Now I realize that she's, you know, she can do, she can gain all back a lot of that health pretty easily with Kiss of Death. But it's, and she does heal on her basic, all right? She heals one ally uh, for 100% of the damage dealt. Right, but it's to the lowest health ally, and so you don't have control um, like you do with the other, with with uh, Soleus, and so that's kind of just that makes them tough. I think Renara, when she comes, uh, I don't want to talk too much about the future, but when she comes, I think she's going to end up being very very good. Um, right, heals all allies for 600% of her magic damage and applies regeneration for three turns. I mean, that's going to be phenomenal. Um, and then resurrect a rim, granting them 50% health and applying regeneration for two turns. This is going to be the first person, first healer in the game that has regeneration. And so when you start to see, when you start to see her in a pride team, right, I, I, I've already started thinking, you know, 
what what are we looking at for for teams? Let's go to Pride for a second. We got Hera, who's going to be a great character. I think that she is the second best leader in the game um, at the present moment because of her leadership, because of her pairing with Salvador, which allows for the tank to gain taunt for two turns. I think that's what makes her the second best leader in the game. As you can see, we probably can we can just pop that, uh, get her up to seven. Uh, so th that's what's going on there. I think that she's going to make this team, right? A Hera, Salvador, Renara, and then Venomate. If you use Venomate and uh, Kara together, it's going to be a great just overall clans team, I think. Um, I think that's going to be a pretty, uh, pretty awesome team, obviously. Rebel, he kind of he mixes really well with Snorri, and so I think that's what you would want to do with him. But then we then comes to Hard Orc. I did unlock Hard Orc today. Uh, as you can see, I'm still hurting for currency and that sort of stuff. So I am not, and I'm hurting still for uh, for things. So I do not have him, but he is the best you overall overall support in the game absolutely the best uh, let's talk about him uh you know 240 percent of a da physical damage to an enemy and inflicts bleed on his basic and then here 200 percent of physical damage to all characters 70 percent chance to apply ability block for two turns it's huge it really just stops it just stops um, he also then can gain cheat death, regeneration, damage increase, and apply it to all of his allies for two turns. That is phenomenal. Um, it's just an absolute beast of a character and a beast of an ability. Uh, and then here, Hard Orc removes one debuff from f four random allies at the start of turn. Right, and this is his pa it's just a passive ability, and so he's cleansing debuffs. So his utility, and he hits pretty hard. He hits pretty hard as well. So that's what I'm looking at here. That's kind of what I'm thinking about characters. Um, I know we've probably left a few out. Uh, let's go through Snorri. I think is a you know for a DPS character. I think he's a tier two. You know, a tier three character. Venomate, I believe, is more of a tier. Uh, three characters well and the reason why i think that these characters are more tier three instead of you know tier one is because they rely on someone else uh snorri by himself does good damage he gets off quickly you know his spin goes he does actually pretty well so i actually think more he's more of a tier two but venomate really you know needs kara to to work um and that's why i think he's more of a tier three character um you know, at the present time, I think you can't just plug him into another and just expect him to do, do work. Uh, he can, but I think that he needs somebody else. The same with Corcoran. I just find he doesn't do particularly well. I think he's more of a tier three character. Um, he's slow and he just takes him too long to get off. Um, old Lord is crap. Uh, he does have, does have some uses um if you're in a tournament and he happens he's a goblin he, he does have some uses because he has days um and that sort of stuff i think mega wheel for a tank could be pretty good but once again i don't not, we're not going to really go there i think he's more of a tier three character sharps you know tier four kill rounds two tier four master duos not bad but he's got uh, some turn meter removal as well but i i think that he's also you know Turn meters reduced, so I think he's more of a tier four character, maybe a tier three character. Um, he's good for the raid, but outside of that, uh, not particularly great. Adam's the worst character in the game, I think. Sinjel's a horrible healer. Uh, Shaolin's not particularly grand, uh, but that so that's kind of where we're at. I, I know this video went a little bit longer uh, because I decided just to go ahead and talk about what I thought of the rest of the characters. I'm sure once again these are all just my opinion. It is based on my own playing of them, watching them against me. Um, you know, obviously people are going to maybe disagree, and that's perfectly fine. Disagree, but tell me in the comments. Uh, let me know who you think. You know, 
should be so who should be in, you know in the top in the top you know top tier then who should be second tier and third tier and fourth tier uh i think the like i said i think wonder lula right now is the mvp but uh as people have pointed out she may be broken and if she's broken um then we'll have to reassess her later but i think that these five here at the top are the top five characters in the game um i think kara may be one of the top five if wonder lula drops off but uh i think freezard is also a top character in the game as well uh, just because you can come into any team and do very very well well let me know what you think uh, down in the comments uh, about the tier list here uh ranked basically in this video i basically ranked all of the characters what i think from top down uh if if you think i'm wrong or if you think hey no you really should try this guy let me know leave it in the comments if you are new around here hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that notifications bell so you don't miss a thing and we'll see you next time when gaming and the law intersect